Hello and welcome all the Mariner friends. I will be discussing MMD exam oral questions in India for engineers class 1. Let's discuss Hague and Hague Visby rule and also clause paramount. Hague rule came in 1924. Claims 100 pounds sterling for per unit cargo, nothing for per kilograms cargo lost. Means full packet damage you will get 100 pounds sterling only unless it is specially mentioned in the bill of lading that the cargo is more valuable than 100 pounds sterling. Then came the volume regime, cargo which is expensive and it should be mentioned in the bill of lading. Under Hague rule owners were combining cargo of two to three owners and when there was loss of cargo the claim was not given in a fair manner. Because of this problem Hague Visby rules came in 1968. In this the claims were increased. Hence my friends the new claims came. 10,000 gold francs per unit of cargo. 30 gold franc per kilograms of cargo. 1 francs of gold are equal to 65.5 milligrams of gold of Millennial Fins 900. Then came the protocol of 1979 applied only to Hague Visby rule. One unit of cargo damage pays 666.67 SDR instead of francs as France is falling. Second, 1 SDR per kilograms is for extra cargo. Now surveyor may ask you, what is the paramount clause? What is the importance of the clause? A clause paramount is essentially a clause that incorporates a cargo liability regime, usually the Hague or Hague Visby rules, into the subject charter. Such clauses are necessary as, under English law at least, the rules are not compulsory applicable to charter parties. The clause is important to establish the shipper or consignee's rights, and the carrier's defences to cargo claims and limits of liability. Now the important part for candidates to remember. A paramount clause incorporates the Hague or Hague Visby rules into the charter party, which governs the allocation of risk between the contractual parties. It generally gives the owner additional defences against claims from the charterer. Application of Hague or Hague Visby Rule If enacted in the country of shipment then the Hague Visby Rule is mandatory applied to this contract. And if there is no enactment of Hague Rules in the country of shipment, the Hague Visby Rule is enacted in the country of destination shall apply, even if the regulatory outbound cargo. If there is a comment of Hague Visby Rule in the country of shipment and destination, the Hague Visby Rule will be applied by the contract. If clause paramount is written the Hague Visby rule will apply. The protocol of 1979 applies to Hague Visby rule it will not apply to Hague rule. Under Hague Visby rule the carrier will not be liable for loss or damage to goods prior to shipment, after discharge or when the goods are under the care of a third party and for live animals and deck cargo except container vessels. Ship owner's responsibility. Article 3 paragraph 1, 2 and 3 states that ship owner's responsibility, that means the vessel should be seaworthy, the man equipment, shall always be there for all holds and chambers properly clean, and fit for cargo loading. Due diligence to maintain the seaworthiness of the vessel, at the time of loading and discharging. And, to take proper care throughout the voyage. Responsibility of the Shipper Article 3 Paragraph 5 Responsibility of the Shipper Detailed description of goods and if the cargo gets damaged, then give a letter to the ship owner, within three days of discharging before, during or after under Hague rule. Ship Owner's Immunities Article 4 of Paragraph 1 and 2, Ship Owner's Immunities if cargo damage after discharging, ship owner is not responsible or liable. If live animals, then the ship owner is not responsible. 
cargo on deck, on a non-specified vessel then ship owner is not responsible or liable. If due diligence, the ship owner is not liable example, master and his crew put every effort to make the ship against seaworthiness. But still cargo gets damaged then ship owner is not responsible or liable. Cargo was not declared properly, but the cargo was a dangerous good in that case also ship owner is not responsible or liable. Question asked, what is Corsica? It is only for United States of America. India accepts this same as Hague Visby rules for SDR. A unit $500 claim only for the United States of America. I hope you understand it well. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe my channel. For more question of class 1, ask me in comments.